Hey guys, so been a while. Um, let's actually move you back up here. Okay, so a lot of different things have happened. First off, I just got Starbucks this morning. Um, got up at six, even though I was planning to get up at seven, but that's fine. Also, good news. Um, I just did these last week and they're so cute. So that's fun. And, um, they typically when I get my nails done, they seem to grow out pretty fast. These ones haven't. So I'm actually really shocked. Um, and they're so cute. They're so different than from what I'm used to, but I really do like them so much. So, and they're a different shape. Typically I get square. These are coffin, but, um, more exciting news. I did my eyebrow last weekend and uh, my piercer, Justin, said when I went in there last night after work, said that it looks like it's been there for years, even though it was literally a week ago today. And so I had a mental breakdown yesterday at work um, shortly after my first 15. A lot of different stuff happened. I'm not getting into it. Um, let's just say feelings got a little hurt about a whole bunch of different shit. <laughs> Talked to my sister about it. Um, I texted a friend of mine, uh, t well, technically two. I was gonna call them last night when I got off, but it got a little late, they were going to bed. Um, and then I went to talk to my cousin and I didn't, I kind of forgot. But anyways, so mental breakdown, got another piercing last night, uh, which I was planning to do this anyways, but I did my Medusa and it looks so cute. I literally love it so much. And I literally did it within the last 12 hours. So it's still a little swollen, it's still healing. But what I just posted on Snapchat was um, wait for some healing cause I'm about to be taking some bomb ass pictures <laughs> because I'm so excited. It literally looks so cute. I literally, I'm loving myself. And I'm doing things that are for me and help me. Um, I've been going through a lot of things throughout the last couple months. Um, you know, ex-boyfriend, family, like there's just been a bunch of shit. So I'm just doing me and I'm improving myself. And I, so I dyed my hair black. I'm pretty sure we remember this. Maybe, maybe not. Um... Then about a week or two ago now, I did um, these little bang pieces right here, purple, and then the bottom half is purple. I don't know how well you guys can see it in the camera. I can see it pretty decently in the sunlight, but because it is still a little light and it still looks like black everywhere, um, I'm going to go back to Walmart next weekend um, cause I just paid on the credit card. Um, so I had to wait until the 16th cause that's the billing date, but, um, I'm gonna go back to Walmart and get the color oops. Cause I used that when I went to try and do the purple, which I didn't do it on these two pieces cause I thought it would be fine, but clearly it needed it cause it's not as light as what the bottom is. Um, but I used it on the bottom and it worked really well. I actually had the, um, red brown color. Um, from when my hair was red and I dyed it brown before I dyed it black. <laughs> um, so I was going to keep the black, which I do like, don't get me wrong. But I think what I'm going to do is because I got paid yesterday. So I am going to, or I guess I already did. I ordered um, from Brad Mondo's line the super purple because I'm wanting to do the purple, especially like right here in the bottom half, because that's what I was already planning to do with what I have now. But, um, so I got the super purple and then I got the super blue. So where I was gonna leave the black, which would have been like this little um, half up ponytail kind of thing, where this was gonna be black, I'm actually gonna do the blue there. So I'm gonna go back to my original colors in a sense and do the, um, half blue half purple but it's going to be a little different now because before i did literally all pieces of the half or top half i think it was blue and then the bottom half was purple so 
Um, but I'm really loving the purple vibes right now. So I'm going to do a lot more purple than blue. And I've seen the way the purple turns out on people because I've, I've watched his like Facebook videos and all that stuff. And I love it so much. So I'm really wanting to aim for the purple. So I'm just waiting on those to be shipped and to my house, which I'm currently not home. I am house sitting right now, but, um, I'm super excited. There's a lot of fun things coming. Um, I have, um, my sister and I have been doing a lot of fun things lately. Get our mind off some things and just enjoying life. And, um, we actually next Friday are going to a Luke Bryan concert. So that's coming up on the 17th and that's at five and it's like a half hour away. It's not far. And I am so excited. I've wanted to go to one of his concerts for the longest time and I am so excited. And, um, so I can't wait for that. Then the following weekend, we are headed to Michigan to see my uncle or our uncle, but that's exciting because we don't get to see him a lot. So the fact that we get to make a trip is super exciting. Um, so that'll be fun. And we actually were going to originally, I don't know if we're still going to now, we were going to stop at the um, Machine Gun Kelly restaurant um, over in Cleveland. And I don't know if we're going to now because it's like two hours out of the way. Um, but we do have it planned for another trip if we don't do it, um, not next week, but the following weekend. Um, so that's exciting. Um, her and I are getting um, a little bit more money saved up towards the apartment. Uh, her and I are gonna get our own place and that's really exciting because she will be 18 within a month or two. I think just about a month now, which is super weird because that makes me older because I'm about to be 21 in um, less than a year because it was back in June is my birthday. So that's really weird, but at least I won't have to be alone going into clubs now because my mom told me not that long ago. She goes, you, you can go to a club now. I said, yeah, but what's the fun? I can't drink and I'll be by myself. So Kendra's 18. I'll be 21. I won't be alone. I'll be partying. I'm going to find drinks that I like. I've had a few before. And I have yet to find one that I can not feel in a sense with. So there's that. But... Um, I've had... I got the little tipsy once, but I, I don't really like Fireball. <laughs> so, um, I also had the Crown Apple, I think it was. And those weren't bad. It's just not something I could drink all the time. And I want something I'd be able to drink when the day's over. But, so yeah, that's super exciting. <laughs> um, I didn't want this to be like a long video. I wanted it to be a little on the shorter side. Um, just to update, um, and I know that I, somebody had commented, I can't remember the name exactly, somebody commented on my, um, I was never broken book video, two people did actually, um, the one person I kind of chatted with, I told them that I was planning to, uh, read more, got a little busy with a lot of different things, there's, like I said, a lot has been going on. But I do plan to read um, a test more of that if you guys are interested. Um, I did I did pack it with me um, if for if I had a chance um, to read it, which I haven't yet, shockingly. But um, yeah, I definitely had that with me. So I want to do that within the next couple of days, um, getting some videos put together. Um, this way I could post um, when I'm busy. But um, so yeah, I plan to read the book a touch more um, in a day or two. 
especially after yesterday. I think it's much needed. Um, and I really want to get to the second one. And um, I think I'm going to go on Amazon and get the other book that I saw off TikTok that I was wanting. And um, it's a book called The um, the Words I Wish I Would Have Said or something like that. Um, so I think I might go on Amazon and buy that. And then when that comes in, I'll start that one too. Because um, I saw quite a few of those videos on TikTok and I was like, okay, well... That's something I definitely want to read. And with me trying to start up this channel, um, a lot of different things, a lot of different reasons. Um, I just figured it would be a good idea to share with you guys. Um, I know I've shared a lot of stuff off of TikTok. One video I tried to post uh, said the music was copyrighted. So it's on TikTok, but it's not on here. Um, Actually, I think a couple of them were because I feel like I'm more on TikTok than what I am on YouTube, especially anymore. Um, so that's why I'm trying my hardest to, if I don't have time, post like the TikToks I make because those are shorter than making videos or trying to do makeup, which that is something I want to do soon, by the way, too. Um, about a week or two ago, I had used my credit card uh, for Walmart and went and bought um, a whole lot of new makeup. So that's exciting. And I've done quite a few different looks with the new makeup so far. A lot of them have turned out really good so far. Um, I think I might make a TikTok with some of the pictures I had taken with some of the new makeup um, and post those. Um, we'll see, I'll have to get some stuff figured out. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. So a lot of different things. This was just an update. Um, Cause why not? Um, and I also wanted to ask you guys, because I, I wanna do a lot of different things, especially with this channel, but um, I have a couple weeks ago, I started, um, or one, a couple weeks ago I got paid and I bought the Java edition of Minecraft on my MacBook because um, I really wanted to play on a YouTuber server that I've watched for a while now. And um, so I've done quite a bit on the server so far. Um, for the longest time, couldn't figure out much. Um, then I got high in cash and then I kind of spent it all, <laughs> but now I'm back up kind of higher. Um, made a lot of progress. Um, so if you guys want to see some of that, um, I'll get something set up to where I could post that. Um, still a learning process a little. I've not played many, if any, games on the computer. Um, so it's something I'm learning still, but I'm definitely enjoying it. <laughs> um, hell, I think a day or two ago, or no, probably more like a week now, I just figured out how to get the daily keys to be able to open the crates and get some of the better stuff. So good job to me, but um, yeah, this was just a little update. Um, I think, I don't know, I'll have to see because I know my sister and I are going to, well, if it warms up some, it was like 55 earlier this morning. Um, I don't know what it is now, but um, if it warms up some, we are going to be going swimming and getting some pizza. So that's fun. Um, I think um, oh and another update um, I have been trying to talk to a few different people um, and 
Some of them are sweet. But me being me, I can't move on if I still think of somebody. So I am talking to them as a friend. Um, and you know, the one person has actually asked me out before. And I said, well, you know, I'd like to get to know you a little bit more. And I, you know, I'm not really ready to, to be, be like that yet. Um, so I said, please just understand I'm going through a lot right now. Um, so him and I still kind of talk every other day, uh, sometimes two days, but um, so it's definitely still a little hard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'm definitely trying and I'm not gonna lie, it's been nice to be able to do me and be able to do my own thing um, and do things I want to do without being held back so much anymore. Um, hell, back in May, I got another tattoo. I've done quite a few piercings since May. Um, I've got another tattoo coming on the 20th of November. Really excited for that one. Um, and while I'm there, he's going to touch up, uh, that for my dad, this that I did back in March. Um, and then my thigh, my other thigh, um, piece that I have, he's going to touch up that as well. Um, uh, and then, um, because I'll have quite a bit, um, over the next two months, because my parents are almost paid off, um, I'm getting ready to schedule another one, which is exciting. Um, and, uh, this is something else, um, it's been a few weeks since I was supposed to see my counselor last and I was like okay well I struggle to get up in the morning and struggle to fall asleep and if I fall asleep I struggle to stay asleep um so I might as well just not call and make an appointment right now because if I miss one more appointment I'm done so I was like you know what I'll just hold off and um I was like, you know, I'm really fucked up in a lot of ways because I really do like this job, but I am struggling because I started this job and went through a breakup at the same time, like within days of each other. So I'm struggling, but I'm proud of myself because I've made it here three months. And some of the days I've had, not only with this job alone, but within life itself, I wanted to quit and I wanted to end it all. And I'm proud of myself for that. I, I'm proud to be able to say that I, I'm keeping myself going. Um, but, and I've, so I, after everything yesterday, I called and made an appointment, that's Monday, so yay me but um it's very much needed it, it's been a hot minute there's been a lot of different things that's gone on in the past couple weeks that I just need to talk about um I still have to talk about a lot of the things I wrote in my journal um I've only read wrote read read I've only read two paragraphs out of that journal um not even okay the one I emailed um back in like April or May and the other one I read um, back in like mid-May. Um, so there's still a lot to read and 
a lot to explain in the details of everybody that has hurt me and all that stuff that I haven't read. Um, I haven't read any of the stuff from school yet. Um, and hell, this is something too. I just found out a couple weeks ago from my parents that um, they used to come home crying every morning, dropping me off at school, uh, especially middle school. Middle school was the worst. Um, because before the doors were open, they were, um, there was like groups of kids standing in front of the door and they would just watch me walk to like the back corner and stand by myself, like head down, just stand by myself. And my mom started crying because she never, she hadn't even thought of that in years, it, but clearly it's on dad's mind and he started tearing up. But, um, I said, well, was it that traumatic for me? that I had pushed it aside because you know how when things are a little too traumatic, you just kind of try and forget in a sense. And I think that's what I did because I don't remember. I mean, I, it doesn't shock me. I probably did. I know myself, you know, um, I had a rough time in school with kids, but I was like, it must have been that traumatic that I pushed it aside because I remember sitting at a lunch table by myself um, back in sophomore year. And then I went and sat in the hallway and then the teacher stopped that. So then I sat in the school bathroom at lunch until lunch was over. So, I mean, Clearly, it would have had to have been worse than that if I remember that plain as day as opposed to the other one, but um, it doesn't shock me. It, it it doesn't. I definitely believe I did it, but it, so that's something I still have to explain to my counselor, but um, Nikki has helped a lot um, with a lot of things. Um, I think I talked too much or too highly of um, one person. So she kind of sided with me more, um, which isn't her fault, that's more on me. But, um, cause I feel like I probably wouldn't be in this much pain um, if a lot of things just would have stopped back in April. Um, so that's more on me. Um, But, you know, it is what it is. You can't really change it. As much as I wish sometimes that I can go back and change the past, yeah, I would love it more than anything with some of the people I dated, some of the bullshit I had to deal with, um, the family issues, everything. I wish some of it I could take back. I wish some of it, I wish that I would have been able to change, but it's life, you know. Um... And one last thing, because I don't really feel like talking anymore now, but um, I have been getting into a new show, which I, I guess it's not really new, um, but not that long ago I started Manifest um, with my sister. And then schedules didn't work out, so then we just kind of watched it separately. I have done finished it all. I watched, I was like finishing season two when season three came out that following night. So literally within 24 hours, I done watched all of season three. Um, so then after that, I got a little bored and was like, well, what am I going to watch now? Then I realized there's one show that I have on my list that I want to start from the beginning because I've seen a couple episodes at my cousin's. So I started Supernatural like two or three days ago and I am almost halfway through season two. And let me tell you, if you have not seen it, you need to see it because I love it so much. First off, Sam is cute. Dean is cute. <laughs> like... They, it's a really good cast. It's a really good show. Um, I know how some of the episodes are because, like I said, I watched some at my cousin's. 
Um, but I'm really enjoying that, <laughs> so that's great. Um, and my lip is starting to hurting some now, because this was definitely longer than I planned, but, um, so I think I'm gonna go, um, just a little update on a whole bunch of different things. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see, um, or if you wanted to do like a Q and A, um, we could do that, I guess, probably too. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this would were to take off, um, but I would definitely like to try and help some people in some ways, like I mentioned in one of my videos previously. Um, and just to be able to share my life, my story, uh, whether it takes off or not. Um, you know, I've thought quite a few times since March, um, when the bigger side of the breakup had happened, um, about writing a book. I already have a title for it, if I were to even actually do it. I have a title. Um, and it would be called The Boy That Broke Me. Um, but I'm afraid to actually sit down and write because I, I, I'm a writer, don't get me wrong. I like to write, I type on my computer a lot. Like, I, that's not the issue. It, it's knowing how to put it into a story without identifying people other than myself. Like I could probably specify myself because clearly it'll be by me. It doesn't really have to be like a fantasy or anything like that, but um, like the boy, I would have to make up a, a fake name for him. Um, a couple people in my family would need fake names. I am one thing. I don't want to put them and everybody else in a mixture. I mean, I'm pretty sure if like people read it that knew me, yeah, they would probably know like who's who, but um, people that don't know me so well or my family, they're not gonna know who is who, which is the main thing. Um, so that's a thought. Um, and I'm afraid, which yeah, I could write one. I mean, but it's like, what's, I mean, like, I don't wanna sell like a bunch. Like, I don't, hell, I don't even really wanna sell them at all. I just wanna see if I could get one published. Maybe I could be a writer. I, w I was told before that I was a good writer. Um, I read part of my journal to somebody outside of my counselor and they commented on the fact that it feels like a story. And I've definitely looked into writing before knowing that comment. So um, it's, it's definitely been a thought. I, I've, you know, um, I was gonna start college um, and backed out of that again, cause I went through a lot of things, uh, beginning of summer. So, um, backed out of college, um, realized it wasn't, even though I was excited, realized it wasn't a path that I wanted to take. I wanted to set a different example, um, and part of me feels like I can't make it that far in the horse world. So I'm taking a different path, um, different way, different story. Um, but so far, other than a few times here and there, I am pretty happy. Um, I have my moments, I have my days, I have the nights of endless crying and screaming, but I'm, I'm getting there and I think that's what matters. Um, it's just trying to let go fully to be able to move on fully. Um, so I'm trying to let go of a lot of things. There's a lot to let go of outside of the breakup and there's things that I need to do 
and work on my and work on myself before I can be with anybody. You know, they do always say you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. And that's been a big thing for me. I have definitely lost uh, a lot of weight. So um, that is one thing that was a major thing for me. Um, and my sister has helped me with a lot of things with that as well. So, all right. Um, I think that is all for right now. Um, I am going to try and be, um, clocked in here in a couple minutes. I think I'm going to do some overtime, um, especially since my sister's not here currently. Um, so thank you for listening. Let me know what you guys want to hear or see from me next. And I hope that you guys all have a blessed and wonderful day. Peace out.